Oh, yeah. Okay, here we are. Airsoft Table Talk, Season 2, Cast 1. Take 2. Take 2. <laughs> Take 2. Three, two, one. But the, the, it's just, it's breaking down those barriers. And it's neat. That and it makes the event better. Well, and again, I mean, we're not really trying to make airsoft games. We're trying to make Milsim events. Yeah. So, you know, we're, if, if you're going to come with nine dudes, you guys better be real hip to uh, doing a call for fire, doing a salute report, doing a point recon, doing an area recon, doing a recon in zone, route recon. Like, if you're going to come with nine dudes, please know how to do a recon. Mm -hmm. Please ha know how to give us, like, timely intelligence by way of salute report. Right? Know how to a accurately report your grid. Know how to do a recon and not fuck it up. Be able to and sustain yourself in the field. Am I allowed to curse on this show, by the way? I, don't, I yes. think it's all out of the air because okay. you've been doing it for quite a while. Sorry now. about so that. Right. You mean this is regulated by the FCC? No, it is not. Oh, okay, good. Uh, it's YouTube. But um, I mean, that's what we're looking for. And if you're gonna, and if and if you want to come and attack objectives and be an infantry platoon, then bring 25 guys. You know, bring 25 guys that can agree on at least the same motivation for just. A Friday through Sunday. That's <laughs> yeah. it. Just the, that's all you got to do. You know, the rest of the time. Yeah, you can do whatever you want the rest of the time. Right. It's just Friday through Sunday. Like, please be on the same team. Well, that was one of the cool things that I, that I saw when I was there. Um, when I when I was at your game, when I was playing, on the NATO side, uh, everyone adhered to the chain of command. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, well, it helps that we embed military guys with the yeah. platoons as well. The, what, what, I, what I mean is, you didn't have those guys like well, I've been playing airsoft for years. Why should I listen to you? I didn't hear any of that happen. We've, we've had like every once in a while we'll get an edge case, oh, but yeah. for the most part, I think that that speaks to the um, one our our willing our unwillingness to bend yeah. to to the customer telling us, "Well, I want to go do my own thing." No, this is the experience we're creating. You either either with us, leave, follow, or get out of the way. Right? Mm -hmm. Leave, follow, or get out of the way. And so we see that the players are accepting that and. And realize, and they see the they see the net benefit of that. They see the net benefit of, of you know doing what the PL wants them to when the platoon rolls out and they put the their results. Yeah, they, they put their squad. You know, they're the lead squad, and they put themselves into a sticky situation where, oops, I can't get myself out. But I did what the PL wanted me to, and the PL rolls up with the other two squads and bails you out. I didn't. I, I mean, I never had that when I went to a national. One of the other. Events. Yes. No. No. And I've been. I got to a myself few. into something bad. And, yeah, I got to figure out how to get out of it. Yeah. And sometimes that meant we all died and walked back to the respawn uh -huh. point. I mean, really, I just think for the most part, and and I don't have an enormous amount of experience, but I have been to a fair number of national events that, and even local events that are larger. I just noticed that uh, even the best ones, and and there's some that are really good, but even the best ones, you're still, it's still just a bunch of squads. It's a bunch of squads. It's like 500 people out there or something. There's a bunch of squads all mm -hmm. going after squad size objectives, and you know we're more interested in like. 150 man company going after 150 man oh, yeah. company objective Super awesome. with four different platoons each taking a piece of that objective whether it's to you know ambush high speed avenues of approach so when the Russians send in reinforcements all of a sudden they're getting popped to click off the objective oh, right whatever uh, that uh, may be uh, 150 100 to 150 man element in airsoft working together as a hundred man element in airsoft will probably defeat anything else that gets thrown against it you could you could take everyone else and throw them against that team and if they're all working in concert, same well, mindset. I don't think we've quite got an entire lockdown yet. Yeah. I but mean, we're getting there. We, we, but we see it evolving. That's the beauty of it. Mm -hmm. is every event, we see it evolving. Every event, we see the factions. And, and people will jump back and forth between factions. But we see the factions get tighter and tighter and tighter. Next time I want to go Russian. You should. That's what I'm being told. Yeah. Is this where I plug the RR? Or like <laughs> Be my guess. Well, I mean, what else? <laughs> what, are, what are some other questions that you've had people ask as part of the promo for saying that we were going to be on here. Um, so we see where Milsom West is now. What do you think the future for Milsom West is? You know, two years from now, which is an eternity in Airsoft. World domination. Okay. Yeah. yeah. No, World but domination. I think we have talked about this. I'd like to be the commissar Out, of Colorado. <laughs> outside of, outside of sure. continuing to innovate the model and how we do things and the experience mm -hmm. and, and the ways in which we suspend disbelief, we want to try to break outside of the Pacific Northwest. We want to be able to find, you know, a place on the East Coast or in the Midwest or someplace for those folks who just can't afford to fly. And we so want to be able to do it somewhere else. So you've seen that there's this uh, lovely piece of ground here in Colorado Springs, the base. I mean, Fort Carson. Fort yeah, Carson. Fort Carson. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you could. Uh, I mean, military that's something bases is always a challenge. Yeah. Um, because that's what I hear from all the other people that right? have military bases, especially the active duty component, the, uh -huh. the National Guard component is very keen to it because it's money directly being put into the state. But from the, from the active army side, it's, it's a challenge, one, just to get in the door. Yep. I think we've got some, of the, I think we've got access to the door. I've also, it also seems like the people that speak the same language. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, do, it's on how you present it, do right? Do better <laughs> than, you know, hey, I got an Airsoft game that I want to host. Go away. Yeah, that's, <laughs> I mean, like, that's exactly it. And we've talked about this because there's a couple of military bases we want to try to get into. And it's like, it's one thing if I go in and like, hey, I want to host an Airsoft game. It's another thing if I've done the MDMP process and I present the commander a couple courses of action mm -hmm. and I give it to him in a brief he can understand from an officer who's used to giving briefs and we pitch it like that. You're like, I'm talking his language. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, oh, okay, this makes sense. Right, right. Yeah. I know, and it makes the whole thing a little easier. Yeah. I mean, you know, when, when you have to go and do your range brief, if there's a guy who's already run a range, yeah, right? yeah. who's right. doing the range brief. I, I, would, I would give so much for an MSW event in, in Colorado. I would give I, so I, much for an MSW event. We're picking up what you're throwing down here in yeah, Colorado. Yeah, picking it up. <laughs> yeah, I would give so much Is for that. Is there a large oh. enough player base here to support? <sighs> Or would no, they have to all? Mind. Or would I be in the same situation where everybody would everybody have, to have to come in? in? Everybody have to come in. Yeah. Well, it's more centrally located in Washington. That's for sure. Yeah. yeah that's that true. is for sure. But that, I mean, that two years down the road, I think that's that's the two big things: innovate on what we've got, build, and then expand to other areas so other people can experience uh, yeah. it. Yeah. That's absolutely what we're looking to do. I'd say in the next two years, we'd like to double the amount of events we do and have that double amount be outside of our current area. Yeah. So that's what we're looking for right now. Okay. Yeah, I think that we would, uh, I mean, you could probably draw, you know, the surrounding area, Utah, Texas, Oklahoma, mm -hmm. I think there's there's a lot of good players in those areas, yeah. but it would still, I mean, if you kind of you look at like, you know, I don't know, maybe a, a 10 hour drive radius around Colorado, that's what you it's might. It's all desert, isn't it? No, that's the Midwest, <laughs> Eric. I know. Well, I, I mean, I've, I've driven. I've driven east of Colorado, <laughs> uh, east of Denver. It's like nothing. In the it, it, it's not. De it's not desert. It's Kansas. But I can see how you. <laughs> <laughs> it's all no man's land. Yeah. Yeah, you guys that are all like super Milsim West, uh, immersive Milsim rock stars. Where do you go play? Milsim West. Yeah. Uh, okay, that's which right. is interesting. So we have a different model in that aspect. Oh, it's a two part question, but right. we have an issue model in that aspect. In that we got time to burn. You can't. You can't walk around and tell visibly who our admins are because it's us ingrained playing in the event. So we're also having fun as part of it. Um, so we do play on our own, but I think, you know, I think the one that we've kind of collectively agreed we really want to check out is the Black Sheep events. Yeah, we'd like he, to go do that. He supposedly has one in Arizona in November yeah. that we'd there's, like to check out. There's one in Guernsey, Wyoming. I yeah, I yeah think. that'd be nice too. We'd, we'd like to go and check out one of John's events because they're cool. One, we see a lot of his rule set is very They're similar cool. to us. Yeah. He's got a similar background. Yes. Um, and and, and, we, and we, we just want to just play collectively. As a, we don't get to play just yeah, as we really us don't. with right, our other you're, guys. You're working. We're always right. working. Yeah, yeah. And, and then, we're always on opposite sides of each other. And two, it's just great to see what other people are doing and what can you learn. Like We're not immune to, to other event promoters that are doing good things to like learning from that. Like We're not saying we have all the answers right, internally. Right. Like We may go to a Black Sheep event and like, Steal some of theirs. Dude, John, was, this is awesome. We have to integrate yeah. this. Yeah. Oh, no. I mean, I, I mean, I would think that any, like, really serious game host should be going to other people's games. Yeah. Actually, I would say uh, one of the games that we do, one of the people we do go to regularly is the Regiment from California hosts. Well, yeah, some I haven't been there yet. They've small, they host some smaller, uh, smaller Milsom games down there. Boutique and, uh, Milsom. Yeah, Boutique Milsom. And we definitely go to the, that. The Vihard series. Fun. And that's um, a lot of fun. Yeah, we've sort of actually, I mean, between between them and us, there's a lot of uh, sharing of ideas and definitely we, a lot. We, we got the ammo restrictions we, from them. Yeah, we definitely yeah. got the ammo restrictions from them. And the stealing of the ammo, I think, came out of one of the events. Is it worth me flying out there for it? Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'd say so. They don't have any on the horizon, to my knowledge. Okay. Yeah, um, I don't think they have I anything announced. They have, a, you know, they have a problem finding good AOs down there. Uh, but they do put on a really, they put on a really bang up game, and so we enjoy that. Um, typically... You know, I think typically when, when Brian and I are playing anyway, we're going and doing stuff as the rushing Russians, if we're just playing, mm -hmm. you know, because that's the team that we started because we wanted to have a I, team. I haven't played a NATO kit in two, or th in like two, or years, two years now, I think. Yeah. I've just done exclusively Russian yeah. stuff. My time's limited. I have so many commitments, plus the family and the wife and the kids. It's like... Family really gets in the way of all that fun. No, they're not in the way. Yeah. I love <laughs> it. You, you get, yeah. I mean... That I'm saying here on television I, that my wife is Just in case Cindy's watching. Just in case... <laughs> well, she probably will. Um, oh, if no, she, doesn't, she will. Yeah. But I mean, like, I'm married with three kids. I have a full-time job, um, the civilian employer. I do the Army Reserve thing, and then I do the Millstone West thing. And when you start to look at all the weekends... You know, it's yeah. like my ability to break outside of Milson West and go play in an event, right. is, is, or even just to go to a local skirmish, which I'd love to do. It's just, it's almost hard. It's almost impossible for me, oh, yeah. personally. In the airsoft, um, there's not a, there's not much in Washington worth worth going to, unfortunately. Really? Yeah, it's I mean, there's yes, a lot of yes, players. It's great terrain. It's a I lot of backyard skirmish type see, events. What's funny is everyone says, oh, you guys have such awesome terrain, and we hate it. 
Like we're just so sick of it. All like, the underbrush. Yeah. Like all the thick all forest. All those growing things. Yeah. yeah that yeah. must be awful. Like, you know, everyone, everyone all in that water. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, but you know, wait till you try and play there year round, and you're just wet all the yeah. time. You know, it's just. I love that. That's yeah. part of the suck factor. You like being wet? Yeah. I know that about if you. You're in chafing. You're I, you, but <laughs> see, I'm the guy you won't find on the field with a, like a soft shell on the whole time because I'm overheating. I'm, I'm out there in a combat shirt, and yeah. that's it. And yeah. I get cold, and then I get hot, and then I get cold, and then I get hot. I don't mind. I don't mind playing soaking wet. But maybe that's to be honest, I think then. also some of the time when I just go, like for me, when I just go play and have my weekend where I go play war, I go to reenactments. I'll go to like one or two of those a year, just because that's. I don't really care who wins or loses. It's, it's irrelevant. Experience. Yeah, it's totally irrelevant to right, me. Right, right. Like, honestly. And that's kind of what, that's why I used to do World War II reenact. Yeah. I was a British para. I go to, like, one or two of those years, <laughs> my, like, my thing. Of course. Where I go yeah. do that. Did you get a stand? Uh, actually, no, I didn't have a stand. Yeah, infield. Infield, yeah. Stand would be cooler. But, I mean, I go to a variety <laughs> of things. If it's a good Milsim game, I'm excited. I don't really care what the technology mm -hmm. is, mm -hmm. I guess, is what I'm driving at there. So. Yeah, I mean, it's all, it's all about what you get out of it. And it's, it's kind of interesting. One of the kind of the things that's come up at o over and over again throughout the show kind of has been this, this notion of, like, participant versus oh, player. Yeah, 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 and that's yeah. something I like is participant and versus player. And I, I, I feel it's a participant. But, but you, yeah. like, like with, with, your, with your customers, you're embracing the notion that they are participants because you, are, you, you, you fully are upfront with this whole, you're paying me money for an experience. Sure. You are our customer. But you have to take advantage of that experience. But you have to own up to it. Yeah. Sure. I, yeah. It's a it's a it's a symbiotic relationship. I can't just I can't just pick an AO and then expect the players to come and make the event. And likewise, I can't the players can't expect me to create everything for you. Right. You know, I I call it sucking I'm from not, the tip. I'm not having fun. I'm not, I mean, I'll whip the boob out, but you've got to come and like partake from it, right? <laughs> is that not a good thing? Anyway, the point <laughs> being is that <laughs> That's going to get edited out, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. The point being is that Hugely is that it's a partnership. <laughs> you, you're paying us. Mm -hmm. You're not paying us to make the event, um, make the entire experience enjoyable for you. You're paying us to set the conditions for you to be successful. You're almost like personal trainers. Yeah, there's a lot of correlation. I'm, I'm paying you because to if you're paying, yeah, if you're paying me to do, well, you know, you're paying me, and we're doing an eight-week strength program or something, right? It's not my job in Josh week. Is a personal trainer. It's not my job in week two to be like. Oh, it's hard. Go ahead and do less reps. Yeah. Right. That's not my job. That's not what you're paying or me for. Or to even lift the weight for him. Right. Exactly. And <laughs> I would like to get the workout. Yeah. Out? I, would, I certainly wouldn't do any of those things. You know. And likewise, if I'm at a Milsom West event and I have a squad leader that's like, oh, I simply can't, you know, or whatever it is. We'll replace you. Yeah. It's not my job. <laughs> it's not my job to go and mess up everyone else's experience to try and find a niche little milk run mission for them. Right. Mm -hmm. It's my job to create the conditions in which you know they can choose to succeed yeah. or fail, make their own decisions, and. You know, that's, that's basically yep. it. I mean, it's you you got to do the work. The right? level Because we've, we've done our work. We've set up everything for you. The suspension of disbelief is there. We've put a chain of command that can coordinate all these yeah. maneuvering units. It's a pretty substantial amount of work, even just seeing it as, I mean, and I only see a little bit of it as, as you're... As I think you're, I make about 50 cents an hour. Yeah, that's probably... <laughs> right. Absolutely do not try to put a dollar value to your airsoft time. <laughs> no, we I can't. I hate it. Yeah. Um, but, like, you know, when, when I signed up for your guys' game, the the... the the, the the briefing packet that I got was like seventy pages long. Yeah, that's yeah. the officer in me. Yeah, that's <laughs> this guy. Mitigation. That's this guy. But but it, but it's cool. To be fair, I've heard people talk about this before. The briefing packet, it's not seventy pages of rules. It's right, like right, 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 It's right. like thirty pages of rules and like forty pages of like sheer information, like reference documents. The reference documents. How do you do a sit rep? What do these terms mean? I mean, we've we've even got like what a tactical tasks and purposes in there, so that when you come. And people I saved, start talking yeah. as you know. I saved it so I could show it to other people when they're like, oh, we want to see what, like, you know, let's be all milsome and stuff. There you go. It's got your packing list in there. Yeah. 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 yeah it's which the which idea. Is, was the most important thing to me at the time. Yeah. 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 And now you're probably, probably growing beyond that. And uh, you know, I mean, I, it, it wasn't that much of a culture shock to me, again, because I, I came from Eastwind. East Wind. I mean, my very first op was that. Yeah. So it's like, okay, I, I know I have to have a sleep. And compared bed. to that, this is I probably know I have to have socks. a little lighter on the Milsim side of it, but. Uh, it's also not nine days long. Yeah, it's not <laughs> nine days long. So, yeah. <laughs> we, just don't have, we just don't have that in us. <laughs> Sounds like just going to work for me. Yeah. <laughs>